On today's vlog, content creation, cooking, condo shopping, hair, and more. But first, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. All right, let's jump into this vlog. Hi guys! Please disregard that noise. It is cold, so I have the heater on. But I just got through filming a couple of try on hauls, workwear haul, a reel, and all the things. I'm feeling good on this lovely Saturday morning. And so today has been such a good day so far. It's only 12 o'clock. I'm going to keep this day going. I want to keep it productive. I haven't eaten because it's so hard to film when you have food in your stomach. And so now it's time to make something to eat. And then I'll get to editing all of my reels and everything like that. I also kind of need to tidy up this place because obviously it looks a hot mess after filming. Just so you have the rundown on what I'm wearing, I am wearing a sweater from H&M, some jeans from Fashion Nova, my Wythings watch, a bracelet from, I forget where I got this bracelet from, slicked my hair down, honey, slicked it down with Edge Entity. And um, yeah, so I'm just getting ready to like finish off my day. Do we like this beat? I just feel like my skin is giving me something. Anyway, I actually have quite a bit of things to do. Not only do I wanna get my content creation stuff out the way, but I also need to work on some stuff for work work as a product counsel. Y'all, I'm thinking about doing more day in the life vlogs, but I just don't know if that's something you guys want to see. And when I say day in the life vlogs, I mean like, everything all encompassing including the content creation side along with the being the lawyer side in addition to like you know the day-to-day -day things that i do such as cooking wedding planning and everything in between if you guys want me to make videos around that stuff please give this video a thumbs up and we'll keep it pushing let's go ahead and get this day started got my tea situated let me go ahead and put away these clothes that I had for filming sorry about the light change um, and then I'm gonna start to edit so yeah I'm gonna put you guys down for a second while I put away my clothes and then yeah we'll go from there God, I am so exhausted. It took forever to take pictures of the items and products that I'm going to be featuring in my reel. And so, uh, um, it took way longer than I expected, but I'm actually excited because I am trying to be better about posting reels and TikToks because obviously those are the platforms or those are the um, features that are really trending right now. Like Instagram is really pushing forward people who utilize reels. And so obviously I need to jump into that as I'm trying to grow my IG platform. If you guys aren't already following me, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at it's Michelle Jama. Also on TikTok, also it's Michelle Jama. But yeah, I'm just trying to like expand. I really, really wanna expand. I really want to like, leverage the heck out of content creation. I want to make sure that I'm sharing helpful information, but also like things that will help you in life. Like, come on, like I enjoy content creating. I love talking about hair. I love talking about skincare. And I actually like talking about the level up and the level up doesn't just include the like academic, the know-it-all, the brain smarts and all that kind of stuff. It also involves your presence. Like, 
what do people see what do people hear from you what do people smell when you come around so it's just a whole entire thing and I really want to make sure that I'm really moving in the direction with regards to my page because I realize there's no point in having a platform if you're not going to use it to elevate and empower other people and so that's kind of what I'm trying to do I'm trying to like leverage my platforms to kind of level women like me up and whether it's with regards to what they want to do professionally or how they want to look physically or what they want their mindset to be so yeah i'm going to just show you a little bit of my setup and what i was doing basically i was just trying to like create content where i'm talking about different fragrances that are work appropriate and just all around good hello like before people see you they also can smell you and so we want to make sure we're smelling good 24 7 and so yeah I was just you know I have a little setup here I was going to kind of highlight a few different products that I really enjoy using not only because they're super light but because they're long wearing or I mean they last long when you wear them yeah I was creating a reel for that because I will have a blog post coming out that kind of goes deep into details about why I like certain fragrances and why they're work appropriate so yeah stay tuned for that the blog is www.michellejama.com but yeah I'm just I'm here and you guys I decided I really need to just document this journey I really need to kind of lean into this creative side that I have not been tapping into. I think I take work very seriously. And so sometimes it's hard for me to step outside of my like lawyer hat and tap more into my super creative side. And so that's what I'm trying to do now. Y'all let me know how I'm doing by giving this video a thumbs up. But yes, so now that I'm done capturing actual content, now I'm going to move into editing. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. So after I wrapped up editing, I went ahead and did a workout and now it's time for me to cook dinner. I'm making chicken with veggies and brown rice and quinoa. What I'm going to do is I'm going to marinate the chicken with onions, scotch bonnet peppers, ginger, and add a few different seasoning. to prep my kale and veggies. Here's what my prepped food products look like. I'm gonna just saute the vegetables and bake the chicken. And yeah, here's the finished product. Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. It is Valentine's Day and we are condo hunting in good old New York. And so before our realtor gets here, I just kind of want to do an outfit of the day. Headband from Amazon, jacket from Zara. I think the top is from H&M and Fashion Nova jeans. So yeah, we're just gonna be looking at different apartments today. I think we have five different viewings. We are at our first location. So I'll just give you a little sneak peek of what it is that we'll be looking at. All right, I'm gonna show you Dr. Bay's outfit. Let me go ahead and switch around so you can see what he's wearing. Don't got me this beanie. Where so is it from? Patagonia. Okay. Uh, this is, what is it? It's a uh, Banana Republic. Quote from Banana Republic. The shirt, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, uh, the pants, I think I gap. Okay. And the shoes are, I've had this for a while. These are, you know, Air Jordan 1s. All right. Um, yeah. We're matching. Okay, so the first location was absolutely beautiful. I loved how the kitchen looked. I love that it was an open concept type of floor plan. I believe that the rooms were pretty decent in size, except the room that would be our guest room was pretty small, but it still looked good. I love that it had three bathrooms. Obviously, that is something that I really, really want for our next location. 
Um, what sucked about this particular, you know, location is that it was right across the street from the cemetery and it didn't really have all the amenities that I wanted. So yeah, that's the first location. The second location was okay. To be honest, there wasn't anything that particularly stood out to me. It wasn't my favorite because it didn't have any elevators. It only had two bathrooms and no amenities. So yeah. So this unit is pretty interesting. It's actually the second floor in a high rise. Um, it's supposed to be a relatively new build, but it gave me old vibes, if that makes any sense. Like, it just didn't seem like a brand new building, and that's just my opinion on it. In the bathroom, there were some cracks in the stone. There were some flaws in the kitchen. Um, outside of that, you know, the rooms were like decently sized. It seemed to get like relatively decent lighting. But what was really interesting was that on our way out, we ran into a resident who basically gave us the tea on the building. And let's just say they didn't give us the best review, so we're not gonna be going with that unit. So yeah. Also, this one didn't have any amenities, which was quite surprising to me because I always assumed high rises came with amenities, but this one did not. All right, condos four and five were located in this awesome high rise. It had great amenities, a gym, a doorman, it is just absolutely fabulous rooftop access i love the units themselves as well um, we did look at two different floor plans um, both of them got really good lighting they had great size rooms honestly i'm not the biggest fan of the kitchen finishes however if we were to buy we could always change that up so that's not as big a problem i love that these um, units all have three bedrooms and two and a half baths yeah i'm really really excited about these particular units the only thing that sucks about this is they are mad expensive so we'll just have to see i'm curious to know which ones are your fave Okay, so I didn't do the best job filming or, you know, vlogging in February, so I'm giving it a try in, you know, March. And so I'm back taking down my corn rolls from my last protective style, which was a sew-in. I kept my weave-in for about two months and some change, and y'all, I've gotten some good growth, but your girl needs a trim. I am gonna go back to braids, deciding between goddess braids and, uh, you know, normal knotless braids. But let me know what you guys think I should do as a protective style. All right, so now it's the next day. I'm gonna wrap this vlog up with me cooking my breakfast. Um, I'm just making turkey bacon, cabbage, and cream of wheat. Honestly, crazy combination, but I think it's really been helping with, you know, helping me secure my body goals, um, especially as I am planning this wedding and wanting to look snatched for this wedding. And so, yes, I'm trying to be very diligent with what I eat. And so this has been one of my favorite meals. Don't worry, I do have a what I eat in a week video coming out soon. And so stay tuned for that. This is the finished product. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Deuces.